string is one of the important topic for icsc and isc students let us see some mcqs based on the same question number 1 we have to select the function which can return as the value in the form of a string this returns boolean compared to returns integer the character at a specific position will be the correct answer for this so for the sake of returning string value we have something called as a trim function which will going to cut the spaces the function which can return the character the index of function if the index of the given character is being given to us so that will be in the form of an integer length integer so we need a function which can return a character although equals works on the basis of boolean so the correct option available to us was caret let's see the next one the next one is name the function which can return the value boolean so as per the explanation of the last one the direct answer is equals let's see next the function which may have two arguments means within the set of round bracket we are going to have two values if you talk about equals it takes one string length is sc dot length actually no argument caret takes only one value so we are left with index of so many a times this elimination process will going to help us to find the correct answer let us see the next one the function which has zero argument so as per the last questions explanation the direct answer to this is yes correct length function so we have something called as a chat box also available to us so let me see whether how many of you are going to give the correct answer for question number 6 which is select the function which can change one character of a string into another character suppose if there is a character called as e and i wish to replace the character with character z so as per my question only i got the answer we have something called as replace because there is nothing called as replace to and change is also there is no function called as change in java so let's go for question number 7 i'm waiting for the correct answer for this one also the dash method returns the relevant number of objects holding the value pass as an argument the definition itself says that parsint is used for converting there is no function like value and there is no function like type so the answer is value of correct value of i'll keep on checking the chat box later so that let me find that how many of you have actually given the correct answer so question number 8 now an inbuilt method in java that returns value in string format there is nothing like to string to percent will going to convert into integer so when this goes wrong so as per the question once again the correct answer was yes to string let's see the next one the method compares two strings in lexicographically order this order is an order for use for the purpose of dictionary and if you have studied java properly then you must be knowing that in these cases also the last one is a wrong one but in these two cases the value is being compared in the form of a boolean and we are left with compare to which can compare the string in lexicographical order that is an order of dictionary the last question in the same sequence the method extracts the part or the portion of a string we don't have a function called as part we don't have a function called as sub str in java substring is there but now the confusion arises that with substring so if you remember then the s of substring is small right so the correct answer will be c in this case 
so good luck for the upcoming examination i'm sure you all will going to do wonders keep watching the videos all the best for the exam thank you